doesn't see anybody. Seems she's just not gonna show up, huh? <sighs> well, we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? Shouldn't a subject always answer the call of their Archon? <laughs> a subject? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. Yes, Mawika is our leader, but that doesn't mean there's any kind of tall barrier between us and her. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us. Huh, so even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. Unlike that old hag Granny eats to Lee, right? Does she think she can ignore us just because she's famous? You all talk about her like she's some kind of huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to our letter! Seriously, if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know! If that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. <coughs> oh, really? So, that's how you see me? Huh? Who's there? Who's talking next to Paimon? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? Ugh, come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. Huh, see Lolly. Wait, you're see Lolly? Your granny eats to me? Yes. Granny Eatsley. But emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. Ah, oh, you must know this trope from light novels, surely. They use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. The girl next door who turns out to be a seasoned veteran. The wise sage who looks like a little kid. Oh, wipe that look off your face! You've seriously never seen an older lady that doesn't look her age? <sighs> okay, well... Don't go thinking it's a trick, either. See? I'm barely wearing any makeup. Did I forget to mention, she's called Granny, but, uh, she's actually pretty young. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Um, I'm on sorry. So, how old are you, actually? What? How dare you? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? I... Uh, Paimon really didn't mean to offend you, it's just that... Uh, your case seems really... unique! Oh, Paimon just wanted to apologize, but now she's putting more and more of her foot in her mouth. Really, Paimon just got a little mad since we thought, well... You were gonna leave us out to dry. Hmm. <laughs> it was my idea to invite you here, Seat Lolly. So if you're upset, you can just take it out on me. All right. I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. If anything, I'm gonna feel awkward if we keep this going. I received Kenicha's letter and was planning to attend this meeting. Since I had already decided to come, I figured there was no need to draft a reply that simply said, Understood. Besides, just showing up is the most important part. No? But, of course... It's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. <laughs> it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, but since you were already here waiting for me, I started to think about how I should phrase my apology, only to hear you all talking smack about me. <sighs> anyway, that's the whole story. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, it's not like I owed you an explanation anyway. Huh? What's with that expression? Was she feeling embarrassed just now?
When the masters of the night wins, so they struggle dealing with her. Huh, I wonder if the feeling is mutual. Huh, she seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a little forced. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, Shilonen, I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. Correct. The situation isn't like anything we've handled before. Let me explain. Ah, uh, I see. So, Mauika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that would be a first. And you've also heard all about Auroron. I must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. Yeah, that's what we came here to ask you. We'll help bring Auroron back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient name. What do you think? Hmm... Uh, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Traveler, come here. Let me take a good look at you. Hmm... Wealth leads to unending conflicts between people. Yet you alone transcend the value of gold. Baleful thunder and wrathful waves bring terror to mortal hearts. Yet again and again, you've braved them to find new worlds. A weary yet free soul, even the most verdant leaf in the forest, will pray for your happiness and safe passage. Those are all the things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. You possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. Huh? Don't move. There's something here. Huh? W what thing? Don't scare Paimon! Is the Traveler gonna be okay? Ah, shoo! Ah, that should do it. You've just returned from the Night Kingdom, so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. Ah, isn't that kind of like having part of a ghost come back with you? Ah, it's nothing as serious as that. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind, and generally worsen your mood. Well, in that case, better to get rid of them. It was nothing. Shilonen, let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Auroron back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. The Lord of the Night? But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. The Lord of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom, constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Oh, so you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the Tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the Lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Uh, not exactly. It's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. Just listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber, and we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In other words, in a dream. But I will need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? I can go. It'll probably be a long list, so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Sounds good! Then we'll go with St. Lolly to track down Auroron! Phew, the Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please, be careful during your investigation. If you need any help, just come find me. Yep, we'll be sure to play it safe! Ah, 
All right, now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <sighs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. It was actually because I decided to swing by Auroran's place to look for clues. He has always lived alone, and I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids, which I assume is because their keeper has been gone for quite some time. And interestingly enough, I saw some slash marks in the house that did not match any of our local weapons. My guess is they were left by Snezhnayan arms. Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. But why would they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids? He's only in his 20s. What would they want with him? <coughs> That's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, he must have done something to attract their attention. <sighs> in any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. I'm truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me, but uh, please help me get him back. You can count on us! Alright, then let's start by heading to where Auroran was seen last. 